Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so a couple of words about Bitfury. So Bitfury is a global technology company with a simple purpose. We want to make the world more transparent and trusted. That's why we, two and a half years ago, we began development of Exonom framework. We're changing, changing the past and changing the future. So what is Exonom? Exonom is an open source framework for private blockchains. What does it mean? You can take it, uh, you can incorporate any business logic that you have, and you can start your own blockchain with your rules that you control. Uh, it does not have any built-in cryptocurrency or token. You can invent a token by yourself with your own to token mechanics that you need and start with it. We use uh, best-in-class uh, architecture and algorithms. I will talk about it a bit later. Uh, we have uh, tools for developers and SDKs and other things and uh, smart contracts, of course. So the first one, and it is a major part of any blockchain, we have developed our own consensus algorithm. Uh, it's Byzantine fault tolerant, so it can operate in hostile environments uh, with some of the nodes might be captured by attackers with arbitrary uh, things done by them. Uh, in terms of uh, speed, we, I think we're number one in the space. Uh, so in a fully decentralized environment, we've tested it on more than 10 uh, nodes on an AWS, all data centers all across the globe. We have a throughput of 5,000 transactions per second. Uh, in some specific environments, uh, in the nearby data centers or something like that, uh, this can go up to 15,000 transactions per second. Uh, the clearing latency is uh, half of a second, so we can produce a block, propagate it through all the system and reach the consensus on the network in this time. Uh, anchoring is, we think it's a major part of any uh, permission blockchain setup. So uh, if you run a permission blockchain network, uh, you can face the problem that you as an operator, if you're, even if you're a consortium of companies, you can rewrite the data, you can do the double bookkeeping, and you can have no uh, way to ensure your customers and your clients that you are not doing it. So for a client, a consortium running a blockchain is actually, a blockchain without anchoring is actually the same as a centralized system managed uh, by this consortium. So anchoring is a process of saving the state of the whole system to Bitcoin blockchain. We've chosen the Bitcoin as the most secure blockchain in the world and it will remain number one for years, uh, forever, for sure. Uh, so at any point of time we have a hash that represents the state of the whole system and periodically we're saving it to Bitcoin and thus we guarantee that there is only one version of truth uh, for uh, the particular network. Uh, Light Client is uh, a piece of software that we've developed to provide uh, ultimate auditability to the system. So uh, if you have ever dealt with other blockchain uh, frameworks, uh, you're interacting with them, they are writing some data, uh, but uh, when you are querying this blockchain, you cannot be 100% sure that the information that is written inside is the same that uh, the system responds to you. Uh, so Light Client is able to verify cryptographic proofs. We use uh, some specific cryptography uh, to provide them. So a client uh, may be sure that his uh, particular portion of data exists and is written to the blockchain. And Light Client is able to verify anchoring. So after the anchoring has been done, uh, a client has an ultimate proof for his data, so he's 100% sure that everything is as it is. Uh, we use Rust programming language, uh, which is the most secure programming language uh, by now, so we think for a blockchain it's quite necessary. So I will go through some use cases. Uh, the story of uh, our software division began in uh, the Republic of Georgia. We have uh, created a land titling registry for national agency for public registries. It is operating for more than one year. We have secured uh, more than 70% of all land titles in Georgia. 
Uh, so we finished uh, our POC. We continue into the next steps where we will uh, <coughs> where we will present uh, the smart contract based platform for buying and selling land in several clicks. Uh, in Ukraine, we have developed a government auction that sells uh, seized property. So in Eastern Europe, it is a common problem that people do not trust the government. And uh, by adding blockchain layer to this solution, uh, everything is recorded on the blockchain. Uh, Transparency International is working as an auditor company for this, so you can independently check uh, all actions that you are doing. And uh, it is operating for more than half a year, and by now it has sold uh, property for more than 20 million US dollars. We have also finished a pilot with a, together with Digital Supply Chain Institute and a company named Aerocent on uh, DevOps process. So it's a chain where uh, multiple companies work on the same software. So uh, by adding blockchain to this, uh, we have improved uh, developer productivity for more than 30%. And uh, we have, uh, so leads up, this leads up to 50% increase in development time. Uh, now we're working uh, on a pilot with Coca-Cola, so we will secure a registry of workers' contracts using blockchain that will protect workers' rights. So as I've said, uh, a worker will have an ultimate proof that he, worked, he has worked for this company on which position for uh, which period. And uh, one of them, uh, we work with ICOs uh, and uh, token-based project. One of the project is Longenesis. Uh, it's a project that will combine blockchain and AI to create a data for uh, a market for medical data where you will be able to anonymously sell your data to research uh, R&D companies uh, and for that you will be rewarded with tokens and uh, personalized advice to how to improve your health. So Longenesis team is uh, here with us uh, today. Uh, they will have a separate track tomorrow, uh, this room 10.30 a.m. So please, you're welcome. Uh, to have any questions.